Hello and welcome at Octopus. This video shows the necessary steps to make your printer ready to print with invisible inks. In the first situation we assume that we have a suitable printer that prints with common inks and is in use. That means that at least the colors black, cyan, magenta and yellow are filled into the printhead and the printer's ink system already. Before the invisible inks can be used in that used printer device it is necessary to remove the common inks from the printer's printhead and the ink system as good as possible. So we thought it would be a good idea to use a brand new printer that is still completely free from common inks. The idea actually was good but it did not consider all the facts until the end. To make a brand new printer print it is necessary to initialize that device using the setup cartridges that are included in the printer's scope of delivery. In the end there's common ink inside the brand new printer too. So after initializing the new printer the situation is the same. It is necessary to remove the common inks before using the invisible inks. We demonstrate to you how to clean out the common inks from the printer's ink system using our Epson Workforce 3620. In the first step we move the cartridge compartment to the position for exchanging the cartridges. When the printhead compartment has reached that position we unplug the electrical cable from the printer. In that condition you can move the compartment from side to side freely. So far we have been running our Epson printer with refillable cartridges. Each cartridge is removed from the printer one after the other. On the bottom in the inkjet cartridge compartment you can see the ink ports that are these little thorns that take in the ink from the cartridge. The actual cleaning we perform in the middle of the area where the printhead compartment is usually working. The inks which are in the printhead shall be flushed out from the printhead through the nozzles in the nozzle plate on the bottom side of the printhead compartment. To protect the printer and the working area we lay a sheet of plastic material and a sheet of kitchen towel into that area. The kitchen towel absorbs the mix of cleaning fluid and printer inks which is flushed out from the printhead compartment. For flushing out the inks we use our Octopus Fluids nozzle cleaner or printhead cleaner liquid. For Epson machines using Piezo printheads we have a kit ready that is suitable for these ink ports in the shape of dead little thorns. Okay, now we have sufficient cleaner liquid in the big refill syringe. The Epson cleaning kit contains a plastic hose that fits on the ink ports just right. Make sure to push the plastic hose on the ink port as far as possible. As soon as the plastic hose sits on the ink port securely you can start to clean. By pushing down the syringe plunger carefully, the cleaner liquid flows into the printer's ink system. The first point of entrance is the ink port. From there the cleaner liquid goes to the piezo chamber and finally the cleaner pushes out the ink through the nozzles in the nozzle plate that is fixed to the bottom on the inkjet cartridge compartment. Please note that the cleaning has to be done for each color individually. We recommend to keep an eye on the pad made of the kitchen towel. Here you can see that it absorbs more and more of the flushed out liquid. As said before, our aim is to remove the common printer inks from the ink system as completely as possible. As you can see here, the amount of cleaner mixed with printer inks flushed out from the printhead is not a small amount. Therefore we recommend to exchange the uh, absorption pad that means the kitchen towel from time to time. A clean piece of kitchen towel also makes it easier for you to assess how much ink is still contained in the cleaner liquid that is flushed out from the ink system. Towards the end of cleaning a specific color the cleaner coming out of these nozzles is becoming more and more clear. After cleaning the insides of the inkjet cartridge compartment the printer is now ready to work with invisible inks. Thank you very much for watching, thank you very much for your time. Please pay also attention to our other tutorials that deal with the topic invisible printer inks. In our next tutorial we fill the right invisible ink into the right refillable cartridge and show you the print results.